Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm very pleased to welcome the president uh, of the Syrian Opposition Coalition, uh, President Koja, and we're very happy to be able to talk today about, obviously, a very compelling and tragic situation. Uh, the situation on the ground in Syria and in the communities around it is simply uh, unsustainable, catastrophic. It has a profound impact, negative, on each of the surrounding communities, particularly Lebanon, Turkey, and Jordan, but especially on the people of Syria. Three quarters of the population of Syria is now displaced people and many of them, at least half internally within Syria itself. Whole communities have been destroyed. Children, innocent uh, medical personnel, women, have barrel bombs dropped on them from the sky. Uh, this is a regime that has lost all sense of any kind of responsibility to its own people, and that is why there must be a transition from the Assad regime towards a government that represents all of the people and can repair this extraordinary damage to Syria, unite the country, protect all minorities, uh, and provide a legitimate future. The other part of the problem is that as Assad is busy destroying the country in his own interests, he is enabling and attracting terrorists to the country who are having a further negative impact on the region. That's why he has lost all legitimacy with respect to his ability to be able to uh, be a part of the long-term future of the country. So we will talk about this today. Uh, the Syrian opposition continues to fight difficult odds. Uh, they have agreed to be part of UN talks uh, that will take place over the course of the next weeks and months. And we very much hope that in the immediate days ahead, uh, people will be able to find a new path uh, by which to create an outcome that will restore the secular, united nature of Syria uh, and be able to prevent this extraordinary humanitarian catastrophe that is unfolding uh, before the world's eyes. So, Mr. President, I welcome you here. We're you. delighted to have you, and I look forward to our conversation. I am here to thank the United States of America for their cooperation with the Syrian people in achieving their goals of Syria free and democratic and democratic. I am here to send the United States for its continuous support to the Syrian people in its uh, endeavor to uh, achieve its uh, realized its goals to freedom, democracy, and pluralism. <laughs> Uh, the U.S. has given the Syrian people uh, in excess of $3 billion uh, in assistance, and it has stood by the uh, Syrian coalition as the legitimate representative of the Syrian people. Uh, سنبحث مناطق آمنة في المناطق المحررة. Uh, I will be discussing with the Secretary of State the latest developments in Syria with regards to on the political and military uh, levels, and uh, we are here also to ask the assistance of the U.S. in establishing safe havens in liberated areas. كما وضح سعادة الوزير أن الأسد لم يعد له هناك أي شرعية. وهو ليس جزء من مستقبل سوريا ويجب أن يحاكم محاكمة عادلة لما اقترفه من جرائم تجاه الشعب السوري. Uh, as, uh, as, 
Mr. Secretary has pointed out, uh, President al-Assad has no legitimacy and he is not part of the future of Syria. And for that reason, he needs to be prosecuted and subjected to fair trial for the crimes he has committed against the Syrian people. Uh, once again, I would like to thank the Secretary for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.